What's up, everybody? This is Sonic Mix 1991, and just like I promised you all on my last video, I was going to do my Sonic Unleash review. So here it is, Sonic Unleash. The difference is night and day. Here is my full review on it. Got the game at GameStop. Apparently, I have to wait two days after. Apparently, I got the game. And unfortunately, I did beat it the next day. However, I did not get all the medals. But, here is my full review. This game is a great Sonic the Hedgehog game. Better, this game is ten times better than Sonic Next Gen. And, to my eyes, this is the best Sonic the Hedgehog game since Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So it's been six years since another good Sonic the Hedgehog game. Alright, let's get into more details with this game. Um, let's start off with the stages. I love the daytime stages. Absolutely good. I loved how it went from 3D to 2D, 2D to 3D. Um, brought back that old Sonic of the Hedgehog classic when it went into 2D. Uh, the nighttime stages, some of them I liked, but some of them were just like annoying at times where you kept like dying a lot or there was like an obstacle where if you touch this you go falling down into the water and you have to restart the stage, or restart from the last checkpoints. The graphics in this game are very good. I love the graphics in this game. Um, when I first heard about the Werehog, my first glance was, oh no, they're going to mess up this game now because of this. I'm going to say, the Werehog is decent. It's not great, it's decent. Half of the things are good, half of the things about it are bad. Um... The boss battles for day and night are pretty good. I think the nighttime ones are probably a little bit better, seeing that you have to hit the action command. Um, apparently, of course, this is the Xbox 360. The Wii and the PS2 versions are different than the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions, so I don't know what the Wii or PS2 versions look like, so this is my Xbox 360 review on Sonic Unleashed, by the way. Um, let's see. But, I'm going to say this. This is ten times way better than Sonic Next Gen. Oh, and also another thing. They said that Knuckles and Shadow were going to be in the game. Well, I only found that Tails and Amy were in the game. Now, I don't know if Sega decided to take them out, or what, so... They're not in the game whatsoever. Um, if they are in the game, please leave me a, a video response or an email so I know where you can get them. But I looked good, and they're not in the game. I don't know. I don't know why. I I couldn't give you the answer. Um, some of the Werehog combos when you activate them when you're playing as the Werehog Sonic, they're pretty good. Some of the combos I like. Um. The stages, once again, are very well designed. I love them mainly more daytime than nighttime. Um, overall, once again, ten times better than Sonic Next Gen. And the best Sonic the Hedgehog game since Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. And is this game worth buying? Well, when I got it at GameStop, I got a refund of $11. So apparently, this must be 50 bucks. Apparently. Um, is it worth buying? Yes, if you are a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, if you want to get achievements. But if you're just a Sonic the Hedgehog fan that just kind of wants to beat it really fast, um, then I will win it. But I bought it, and to me, I think this is definitely worth the 50 bucks. And of course... The speed is definitely better. It put it really puts you on the edge of your seat once you hit that boost button of Sonic, and he just starts flying down the uh, the stage. High pace, intense speed. I mean, you will definitely be on the edge of your seat. But um, oh yeah, then then they're gonna come up with Sonic and the Black Knight. But I think I'm going to do. A separate video on that one. I don't actually want to 
feature that in this review. So I'm actually going to do that on a separate review. But, um... Overall, this game, I think it's great. I mean, they really did brought back Sonic the Hedgehog. Voice acting, it could be better. Um... I think Jason Griffin, the voice actor of Sonic, was pretty good, but not all that great. Um, but overall, once again, this was my review on Sonic Unleashed. Better than Sonic Next Gen. And the best Sonic the Hedgehog game since Sonic Convention 2 Battle, which that was back in 2002. And my rating, once again, an 8.5 out of 10. Is it worth buying? If you're a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan and want achievements, it is worth buying. If you just want to beat it really fast, like I did it in one day, then it's rentable. Alright, this was my Sonic Unleashed review. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to me, and if there's another update, I will do that update. Or, hopefully I'll continue on with the Sonic the Hedgehog walkthrough. So until then, have a good night everybody.